Hi, this is Pallavi Verma and in my previous video, I have shown you how we can use event emitter. So in this video, we will see how we can use event emitter in HTTP server. So let's get started. So first I'll create one file inside this SRC folder. Let's say it's event HTTP.js. You can give the name of your file as per your requirement or convenience. So in my previous video only, I have installed events module. So I will directly import it. Let's say it's event and I need to require the events module. Now I need to access the event emitter. So event emitter. Now what I'll do is I will create the object of this event. So const let's say it's evt and it would be new event. Now what I need to do is I, I need to use this event emitter with HTTP server which means I need to import one more module which is HTTP server. So it would be const let's say HTTP and I need to require HTTP module. Now I have these two modules with me. Now I can use this event emitter. But first I will create one HTTP server. So HTTP dot create server. Now what I need to do is I need to pass one function and that function will contain. Now I need to pass the parameter like request and response so that if later we want to access the body of the request and the other attributes and parameters we can access it through the request. So I need to give the port number also so that we can start the server and it will listen to some port. So dot listen I need to specify the port number let's say 8028 you can give the port number as per your requirement. Now what I'll do is I need to set the event. So what I'll do it's evt dot on function we will use. So in this function we need to specify the name of your event. So let's say the name of the event is a. So once this event got triggered it should perform something. So I will write let's say one function which is and I will pass the parameter. So parameter would be let's say it's method and URL. So this method will tell us what kind of method we are using in our HTTP server whether it is post, get, put and URL and what URL it is passing. So the path of the URL it will give. So now what I'll do is I will just emit or trigger this event. So what I'll have is I have evt dot emit function. So in this case also first what I need to do is I need to pass the event name which event I need to trigger and now I need to pass the parameter. So I have already passed this parameter method and URL which means I need to pass the value for that. So what I'll do is request dot method and request dot URL. Now when this will trigger this event it will perform something it will perform some task or operations right now I'm giving the logs so it would be let's say console dot log and I will give the statement let's say um, event has triggered and since I have passed this parameter which means I need to use it that's why I'm passing it so what I'll do is I will do console dot log and I will access this method and URL so what I'll do is let's say its method is and I need to fetch the value so what I'll do is like this we can print it and same for the URL so what I'll do is let's say URL is and I will pass URL here so now my server is ready and it will listen to port 8028 and I have this event and this image will trigger this event. So I will run this code. So event 
HTTP. Now what I need to do is since this is HTTP server and it is listening to port 8028 which means I need to hit this port. So I'll go to my browser. I will type localhost 8028. So the moment I hit this URL, I'll be able to see the data here. So it has triggered this event which is printing. Event has triggered and method is this. So I hope you like this video and stay connected.